Aunt is mad I didn't house my bum brother. He's family. If he's family, he can stay with you. Okay, OP. This is OK OP. I'm Samuel Donner. And I'm John Fry. And we tell the funniest stories on the internet. Oh, yeah, we do. And occasionally we have people respond back to us telling funny what? stories. They respond? They respond? Heck, yeah, they How do. They? Please comment. We love reading your comments. We do love reading your comments. And sometimes they're uh, of the positive nature. And then sometimes they're of the negative nature. And then sometimes they're just of the hilarious nature. Oh, I like uh, hilarious nature. This one is one of those. Uh, I thought it was so short. It's almost like a haiku. It's very short and okay. poetic. Um, this is on TikTok by Hunter Griff with like four F's. <laughs> Bro, please blink. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, we're going to blink extra hard for you this episode. I will never blink. Look at these eyes. Look they at these eyeballs. They are so Open. <laughs> you know, like Clockwork Orange. Yeah. Or they fucking lead the, or like they yeah, have the eyeballs yeah, yeah, open. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. Ah, ah, ah. Gives me the willies. Blah, 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 blah. But what doesn't give me the willies is reading sweet, sweet Reddit stories. Let's hear it, John. So let's get into it. Aunt is mad I didn't house my bum brother. He's family. If he's family, he can stay with you. Ooh, how the turntables are turned around. My older brother is a bit of a bum. It's mean to say, but it's true. He can never hang on to a job more than a couple years absolute max when he inevitably loses whatever job he had and starts mooching off of family and friends until he can find a job months later. Doesn't sound like a stand-up guy. Not a great move. More like a sit-down dude. This entails him freeloading at their place, eating their food, using their stuff, etc. Oof. He's lost friends because of how long he's bummed off of them, and I don't blame them for cutting him off. Neither do I. That is annoying. Yeah, there's a difference between a friend who's down in their luck and a friend that just will not create any luck for themselves and wallow saying like hey you can live with me that can be a lot you have to give a timeline like yes. hey you can live with me for three weeks the last time he lost his job he went to our parents but they don't have room anymore because they're letting our oldest brother and his wife stay with them after they lost their jobs out of nowhere in the same month what the oldest brother's entire team was laid off with no warning Oh, no. And his wife's work burned down. Oh, this family is being put through the ringer. How does this all happen to one family? Like, yeah, where, is where is Jim Carrey? Yeah. You know, you know, what's his name? What's his name? What's his? Yeah, what's uh, his? Lemony Snicket, right? Lemony Snicket. Hello, my little pretties. Ooh. And so all that being said, my oldest brother and his wife couldn't afford to rent anymore. So my older brother was pretty much out of luck. So our parents, aunt and uncle, all started calling me asking me if I would take him in just long enough to let him on his feet again. Just What's long enough? This man will not get on his feet. He is sitting on the couch eating potato chips. He's footless. Footless. I stupidly let myself feel bad for him and said, but he only had a few months and then he had to get another job or he was out on the streets. A few months is a long time. They all said, of course, of course. And so he came to stay with me. And it was an absolute nightmare. He's a slob. He never washes the dishes, never washes his clothes, and eats pretty much whatever he wants. I guess since I'm his little sister, he figured he could just ignore me saying he has to get his life together. Well, after six months, I told him he had to go. Six months? Seasons have changed and the man is still exactly where he was. I gave him a couple weeks to go find somewhere else to live. Well, it seems he called our parents and cried about me kicking him out. And they told him, well, he couldn't stay there forever. But of course, they then called my aunts and uncles and told them all about it. Oh, no. Oh, I can already see where this is going. You know where uh -oh. this is going. Oh, no. My busybody aunt called me and scolded me for being cruel to my older brother. <laughs> I love how she sounds like an evil like stepsister. Yeah, They're like, do not eat the apple. I let her talk and finally said, you know what? You're right. Helping family is important. And I'm glad that you showed me that. I feel something coming. She seemed glad I understood the right thing. I followed her advice and packed my bro up and drove him right on over to her house. Malicious compliance. I love it. Family should take care of family, huh? I couldn't care for him anymore. 
he was also running up all my bills. Yeah, and he's not paying for anything. But my aunt made a good point. Family should help each other. So I dropped him off there. She has room since all of her kids have moved out. And then I up and left. But I wasn't even halfway home before I started getting multiple calls from my parents and aunt. My parents were demanding to know why our aunt was blowing up their phones. <laughs> and my aunt was leaving voicemails shouting at me to come back and get my brother. So I explained to my parents that they said it was a good idea since my aunt sounded like she wanted to help family. But my aunt called me an a-hole and said she didn't want my brother here. And when I told her family helps each other, she called me a punt. Oh, wow. Yeah, I what happened to Kumbaya around the campfire. And last time I checked, he is still living with her. So am I the a-hole? <laughs> I love how the brother is still there. Yeah, just casually, just okay. <laughs> or, or, dude, this brother is like a nuisance. Man. Like, get a job. Yeah. Okay. Or, <laughs> just doesn't move. <laughs> sure, Wait, yeah. so like, like I, I don't even know what you do in that case when you have someone who's that deadbeat. Like, that's so tough. You, I think you do have to like teach them the lesson and be like, we're all locking our doors on you because he just needs to be forced to do something. Yeah, like, like he's too comfortable. Um, he and and she later, uh, she added later that he was like very skilled. Like it wasn't a matter of like he was hopping from like minimum wage job to job. He's like a mechanic and all these other things. He just chooses to like be lazy, and then he just keeps getting fired. Huh? Yeah, dude. He this, this man needs to learn some work ethic. Like I, like, I think the only thing that will scare him into working hard is just the streets. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, either I get a job immediately or I sleep on a bench tonight. Like, yeah, something's got to get him going. There has to be consequences. Has to be consequences. Consequences. You know where there are always consequences if you don't do this right now? Following OKOP everywhere. Better or bad things will happen. <sighs> Follow us on Spotify, on YouTube, and on TikTok. And if you really want to be a supporter, Subscribe on Patreon. Join the ranks of Kathy Quigley, mm. Keemgan Simmons, mm. Desiree Canterbury, oh. Connor Van Buren, ah. Nina Campbell, oh. and Will Combs. Ah. We'll see you next time. See you soon. <laughs>